Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to check the selection status of a radio button or a checkbox field. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, to check whether a particular radio button or a checkbox field is in selected state or not, we have to use a command known as is underscore selected command. So this is how we have to use is underscore selected command. Okay, this can be applied with a radio button or a checkbox field to see whether they are in selected state or in deselected state. Okay, if they are in selected state, if this radio button or checkbox field is in selected state, is selected is going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID. Here we have some sample Selenium Python code which I have used for demonstrating the previous session. So I will modify this. I will remove the code which is not necessary. So the remaining code is uh, necessary for this session too, which will open the Firefox browser, which will maximize the browser window, and then it will open the application URL in the browser. Okay. So let's say in the browser, the application URL is opened like this. Now I want to check whether this checkbox field orange checkbox field is in selected state or not. Okay. And also I want to check whether this blue checkbox field is in selected state or not after that. First, I will inspect this orange checkbox field, which is in currently in selected state. So here is an ID guys. Uh, this particular checkbox field has an ID. I'll copy this ID of this checkbox field, which is currently in selected state. If I'll write something like if driver dot find element by dot ID give the ID of that uh, checkbox field, which is currently in selected state and say is dot is underscore selected. This is selected will now return true because this orange checkbox field is in selected state. Okay. So it will return true. So I'll simply say uh, selected state. Okay. Selected state. Else paint. Not selected. Okay. It's not uh it's not in selected state. Okay. It's selected state or not selected state. Uh, or deselected state, whatever you can call that. Let me run this code. It should print selected state. Let's wait for the Firefox browser to launch. It will maximize, it will open application URL and it will quickly check whether that orange checkbox field is in selected state or not. Since it is selected state, is selected will return true and because of which selected state got printed in the output console. Okay. Now, I will inspect another checkbox field that is blue checkbox field, which is in not select, which is not in selected state. I'll copy this ID of this uh, blue checkbox field. I'll come here and paste it here. And here I'll say not in selected state. It's better way to write. So let me run this code. Not in selected state should be printed in the output console, guys, for this uh, blue checkbox field, which is not in selected state, should be printed in the output console. It will open the Firefox browser. I have run that. So it will open the Firefox browser, maximize the browser window. It will open the application URL and will quickly check whether blue checkbox field is in selected state or not. Since it is not in selected state, e selected will return false. And because of which not in selected state will be printed in the output console. The same thing can be applied for the radio buttons also, guys. Here we have some radio buttons like a bike, bicycle, car. You see bike uh, radio button is not in selected state. I'll inspect this bike radio button and it uh, doesn't have any idea or something. So I have to give a different thing. Let's say control F. I'll take this as a value, copy this value. And uh, here I'll write down full slash input at the rate value is equal to bike. You see, bike radio, uh, bike radio button got selected. Okay. I mean, got uh, you know, located with the help of this XPath expression. This bike radio button is not in selected state, so we should get the same output, guys. Okay, one of one. That's okay. The, I'll copy the XPath expression. Here, I'll simply change the code a bit. I'll simply say, instead of by.id, I'll say by.xpath, and I'll give the XPath expression for locating that bike radio button, which is not in selected state. So, each selected command is going to return false for this radio button, and because of returning false, the else block will be executed, and not in selected state will be printed in the output console when I run this code. Let me run this code. not in selected state will be printed in the output console now.
it will maximize the browser window it will open the application url in the browser and uh, quickly it will check whether that uh, radio button is in selected state or since it is not in selected state is selected will return false and not in selected state for printed in the output console now i'll repeat the same thing for the radio button which is currently in selected state that is bicycle in spectrus and uh, here i'll just take this value and modify here now it will locate this uh, bicycle radio button which is in selected state i'll copy this and uh, replace the older xpath expression with the latest one of bicycle radio button now e selected will return true because bicycle radio button is in selected state and because of it is returning true uh, the if block will be executed and uh, selected state will be printed in the output console right click here and say run in a while you will see the firefox browser launching you see the browser got launched and it will maximize and it will open the application url and it will quickly check whether that particular uh, bicycle radio button is in selected state or not. Since it is in selected state, it is going to return true and because of the if block will be executed and selected state will be printed in the output console as shown here. Like this guys, we can use each selected command uh, with radio buttons and checkbox field to check whether they are in selected status or state or not. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.